one of the things that we're seeing, right, is that the, the numbers of infertility just continue to increase. The sex hormones is interesting is that the signals for production can come from the gut. And estrogen dominance is the most common hormone imbalance issue in women, right? Uh, it can cause all kinds of issues, of course. It can be, cause metabolic issues, uh, PCOS, you know, potentially things like endometriosis, even breast cancer risk, and so on. So it's estimated that about 80% of hormone imbalance issues in women come from estrogen dominance. And the, one of the biggest drivers of that is too much estrobilome. And a lot of the bacteria within the estrobilome constellation are enteric or ne gram-negative dysfunctional bacteria. So if you have that dysfunctional microbiome, which means you are recycling too much of your estrogen, leading to estrogen dominance, that same type of dysfunctional microbiome also drives vaginal dysbiosis. There's a connection between your microbiome, the mucosa, the mucus layer that your microbes live in, and the vaginal mucosa. And then that can lead to an increased risk of things like bacterial vaginosis, UTIs, and so on. That has a direct implication on fertility, because fertility is in part dictated by the health of your vaginal microbiome, and the health of your vaginal microbiome is dictated by the health of your gut microbiome. And so it all cascades into these, this, you know, uh, this, this snowballing effect.